Hey guys, it's August 18, 2015. Welcome back. Just want to share with you guys new things I've learned and just want to give you guys an update. So it's been 11 months, and this will be part six. As you can see here, I see a, uh, you see a bok choy in the back there, a lettuce, um, Thai chili. Uh, sweet greens. The sweet greens have been growing the last three months here in this NFT system. And also this Thai chili right here has been growing for at least over a month. And um, hopefully I want to see the differences in growth and fruits compared to the aquaponic system right here that I just created like a month ago, a month and a half ago. Uh, check out the link guys. Um, it should be on this post so that's an aquaponic system I'm working on right now and it's fully cycled but back to the hydroponics um, new things I learned about the hydroponic is I want to take one process away um, basically I want to plant it on the pipe you know kind of like a set it and forget it kind of thing so the one step process I wanted to remove was this process right here where you put it in a rock pool Put the seeds in the rock cool and that plastic right there will keep it um, moisture and all that stuff I decided how, how do I plant a seed in there and basically have it moisture just like that one right there well this plastics I just want to give you guys some tips this plastics is um, what I saw in the eggs when I bought some eggs so basically just cut them but cutting them, basically just covering them. So I think this is ready to get out. This is a basil right here. Something is basil. So the way I plant this, guys, is I, I soak this clay pebbles for several hours with water. And I took one pebble and I basically put two or three seeds in there and turn it upside down so it doesn't hit the sunlight and all that so that's what I did and I just cover it with pebbles don't cover it too much or else it might be too heavy but just cover it enough for you know there's darkness in there and a little bit of light and this is how it goes guys you know you didn't have to put rock wool or anything we'll stick to the clay pebble and make sure to cut this from an egg container so hopefully this one will help you guys it's kind of a lazy farming kind of thing but I think you remove one process out of the way and uh, this one right here from seeds is this like basically two weeks old so that's the one I want to share with you guys you know this I'll give you guys another update in the next two to three weeks on this this is one I removed the plastic three days ago it's another type of basil, summer long basil, I believe. Uh, I think this is the lettuce or butter lettuce. So it's working, guys. So if you guys have built this kind of system, try it. Get the get your egg container and do the germination of it. And on another note, the reason why I soak the water for several hours is I make sure to put it halfway. And put the seed there because you don't want the seed soaking into the water you don't want that so that's it guys um, just want to show you guys a really good germination process when you're doing an NFT system like system <laughs> that's kind of catchy word anyway just want to show you guys here uh, careful with the worms it really annihilated my bok choice right here so but uh, they're still strong here right here this is the the potential of how big the bok choy can be basically this is what i harvested two months ago and this one was saved because of the spiders yep spider plays an important role in regards to bugs around and yeah guys that's an aquaponic system check out the link too Bye.